Hi brothers and sisters, I want to bring you an update on world news. Um, Venezuelan oil giant PDVSA moves joint ventures accounts to Russia, to a Russian bank. This is reported by Reuters. <laughs> They're protecting their investments and they are getting ready. Listen, when you look at the world events, and as I reported earlier, Italy and the U.S. sending tanks and artillery to Israel and all the Israeli borders are going to be protected. The aggression of Iran and Hezbollah, uh, brothers and sisters, at any, mo at any moment. I'm between uh, services right now. Our next service, which starts at 10 o'clock, probably around 10.30, I would think. Be watching. If you want to see the live, uh, the message will go live. It's really a different message today, but it's what the Lord gave me, and so I'm bringing it as best I can. Um, may the Lord be glorified in it, and we be blessed and equipped in these final moments of the end of days. Well, the Daily Express... Um, in Venezuela, the U.S. is on a course for a showdown with Russia and China over the elections. The U.S. is pressing the U.N. Security Council to call for, as we back Guaido, meaning we, the U.S., backs Guaido, um, for a, a legitimate election. So there's just tensions all over between Russia, China, and the U.S. And the Jerusalem Post, a, a terrorist, a Palestinian terrorist, killed, horrifically killed a 19-year-old woman, an Israeli woman. And because Israel is looking at potentially a death penalty, of course, they're made to be the demon and the devil again, which is ridiculous. In South China Morning Press... Um, <laughs> a the Liaoning, which is the only aircraft carrier uh, that China has, is preparing for new technology and launching new technology that deals with cyber and EM attacks, electromagnetic attacks. Also, the Chinese Coast Guard heads to the front line in the South China Seas. Again, things are heating up all over the place. And Mayor News, Iran studies, this is what they're reporting, uh, staging joint naval drills with Russia and China. Here you go again. You've got Iran, Russia, and China. And don't think that North Korea is not going to be in that mix. And then... Uh, China and India are clashing over Prime Minister, the Indian Prime Minister Modi's visit to that northern territory, which is disputed between China and and India. So tension, war is imminent between China and, and India. And Sky News, this is interesting. I'm just going to throw this in because this is in interesting. <laughs> in Russia, there is an invasion of polar bears in Russia. And I just find that interesting. And then in the Express, uh, European nations are actually saying that they're happy with Brexit because now they'll be more unified. That's right, they'll be more unified. Why? Because we've got, listen, you've got the false prophet. I believe this Pope, Pope Francis, is the false prophet of Revelation. He was in the Arabian Peninsula. He had a huge mass with tens of thousands of people, I believe Coptic Christians and Muslims, and he signed a deal with many of these Muslim leaders for one religion. Then you've got ecumenical Protestants who are saying they're no longer Protestant, actually declaring that we're all Catholic because there's no more protests, because we're unified. Unified with what? A pope that says that Jesus sinned? He did. He said it. He said Jesus sinned. When he was in the temple at 12 and his his parents went off. They would have went in caravans and they didn't know he was there. He was about his father's business. Jesus did not sin. If you believed he sinned, then he could not. I'm going to preach about that. It's going to be in my message. Then you cannot believe that he was the spotless lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Do you see? That's a doctrine of demons. And so, brothers and sisters, 
we're at a tipping point. I think that's what I'm going to call this tipping point. We are at a tipping point. Well, I wanted to bring you the world news. I've got to get ready, more prayer, and meet with some of my leaders in the church. And we're getting ready for our next service. And then tonight we'll have the 6 p.m. Believers meeting. Know that God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. Have an awesome rest of your day.